topic of child trafficking and the millions of children who are sold each year finds its way onto our silver screens once again. Gillian Anderson stars in a new film set in the red light district of Calcutta. Sold based on the best-selling novel by Patricia McCormick, hopes to raise awareness for the issue. Sold is a movie that's going to change the world. It is a very ugly subject matter. But the fact is, it is the truth. I didn't know that there was such a big red light district in India, uh, particularly in Mumbai and Calcutta. This happens in every country in the world right now. Well, what happened to me was I read the book. I was uh, literally slain by the book. I was sobbing and laughing and deeply moved. I optioned it the next day, and, um, and then we found out a week later it was um, nominated for National Book Award and all of this. And as I researched it, we went to the same NGOs that the author of the book went to, and we went to even more of them, and I met about 2,000 children who had been trafficked into sexual slavery. And meeting those kids, hearing their stories, I became really an advocate to make change and I wanted all the details to be as authentic as possible and I wanted to really show what's going on. From now on, sweetheart, you will do what men tell you and smile while you do it till all your debt is cleared. Jeffrey Brown, the director, read the book and called me and said, I just read a book that you need to read right away because I think you'll really resonate with it. I read the book, I cried through the whole thing and called him and I said, this has to be a film, whatever it takes, I'm in. Now after five years, I'm going back home. Five years? I've been a, a friend of Jeffrey Brown, the director, for a long time. And um, he told me that he had a project that he was working on that was, um, uh, that didn't necessarily have a role for me in it, but that the cause might be something that I would be interested in. And so I read the script, and indeed, it, I was, um, you know, extraordinarily moved by the story. And uh, by the time we ended up filming, um, the non-existent role had grown into uh, a role emulating a, a real-life humanitarian photographer. And I happened to have time in my schedule, and so that's kind of how it began. Get out of here. This is the tale of one girl. It's one voice of the many millions of children who are out there uh, as we speak in exactly the same uh, situation that this character is. And we need to push past our objections to continue the conversation because it is a f the, the, the fact of the matter. I just can't get her out of my head. When you raid this brothel, I want to be there. So before I auditioned for the film, I went and did my research, actually going to Kamathipura in Mumbai and walked the streets. People thought that I was a prostitute. I didn't dress like this, of course. It was a, a very surreal moment to really feel like your freedom was gone the minute you were in that specific location. You know, men who had been so courteous to me a day before, treating me with utmost respect, treated me very differently just because I was in that place at that time of night. Um, so it was very different to feel that way. But it's been a difficult journey. I mean, seeing the survivors, meeting them. We met hundreds of survivors. We went to a couple of rescue places where there, one, there were supposed to be 100 girls in the facility, and there was over 150. Many of these girls are 16, and they've been in a brothel for three years. They need to have some healing and rehabilitation. And so we, we want to bring education, we want to bring healing and rehabilitation, and we want to bring technical and vocational training to survivors so they can have a better life. What are you smiling at? 
Beware of pretty boys. They'll steal your heart and then your money. I do a lot of work in uh, various organizations around the world, and when I started this movie as a 40 five-year-old woman, I did not know, you know, I, I knew very little about uh, about child trafficking and the statistics. And so um, if that's the case, then it's it's so it's very likely that people in the far reaches of the world or even in Los Angeles and New York in America don't realize that it's something that's actually happening in their own in their own backyards. It's a movie that's going to help end human trafficking. Uh, it's going to be used to raise funds for many different organizations, and it will be used uh, to, to create educational components for children in vulnerable cities and communities so that they can be aware and uh, pr be protected by being aware of this danger, but also it'll be used in schools throughout the world. After watching it, I, I hope people ask the question, what can I do? That seems to be the response. Um, I think people are generally moved enough to just try and find out what it is that they can do wherever it is that they live in the world. We've got to get out of here.